Five, five, four, four, three, 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 two, two, one. A YS Media Production. This is Street Fame TV. Welcome and thank you for joining us today here on Street Fame TV. I am your host, Nina Saucier, famous in the streets as Miss Atlanta. Today we are coming to you live from Miss Garage Gentlemen's Club here in Jacksonville, Florida. It's better known as Duval. However, today we will be talking to individuals, future celebrities in the entertainment business. These are individuals who are famous in the streets for their skills and their talents. Now I bring to you Street Fame TV. Let's get started. Street Fame. Your ten toes down, you going hard to make it You stay focused on your goals even when they try to break you Cause you want street fame, street fame, yeah Street fame, street fame, yo swan You are now tuned into Street Fame Television Hosted by yours truly, Miss ATL Let get it Street fame, baby Welcome and thank you for joining us on Street Fame TV. I'm Nina Saucier, your host, Famous in the Streets, that's Miss Atlanta. We're coming to you live from Max Darrow's Gentleman's Club. And today, we're going to introduce yourself. Well, Tell everybody at home what you're famous in the streets for. I'm Rada God. A lot of y'all know me as Ra Ra, Daddy Ra Ra, Ra Ma, however you want to call it. Um, Represent the GMG, you know what I'm saying? VP of Kush DJ, shout out to Slime Time, Dude Did, the Tay Montana, the whole GBTK1, you know what I'm saying? Um, basically, I'm famous in the street just for being me, you know what I'm saying? I, since I was a baby, I ain't never changed. Wow, I always gonna be fun, I always gonna. I'm just about a part, I'm about having a good time, I'm loving about music, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't with that boy, man. I ain't with that boy. You know what I'm saying? So, how long has it been since you've been doing quarantine? People jumping around, happy on their feet. I've been entertaining since I was a youngster, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember my mom used to wake me up, the blue light on in the room, they got it. That's when they tell all the kids, go, go to sleep. It's wrong okay. sometimes, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Grandma, come get me up, hey, do a dance. Do a dance, I'm popping, I'm knocking all across. So, I mean, I've been, but professionally, I've been entertaining maybe since like 17, 18. I also DJ, you know what I'm saying, and I've been doing that for maybe about four years. Shout out to Smack Silly, go vote Smack Silly, right. you know what I'm saying. I smack the vote too. I smack the vote too. Okay. Tell us, where are you originally from? Born and raised, Duval County, Pickerville, on five by the way, the ID is 21st Buck, you know what I'm saying. Anything on and off, MLK. And what inspired you to do what you do? My parents. My, my parents, I'm, I come from a dope bike family. You know what I'm saying? My mama had me with this other three. They both, uh, my dad both met on the chicken circuit, open up for uh, OJ, it's temptation, all that. Um, well, a lot of people want to know at home, who is your role model? Who would you say that you inspired you or look up to? You look up to somebody's footsteps, you said, I like these styles. Let me try and go in these footsteps. Um, real talk. I would really like to say my brother not from that. And I read two of his autobiographies and just as far as where he came from to how he transferred and converted the, the nation of Islam. Then he went to Mecca and got a bigger eyesight on really what the world was. Brother Malcolm. Brother Malcolm, because he made a change. He made a that's, that's a very positive influence too. A very positive role model. Not very many people really even say that anymore because we've gotten so far into the future and technology and everything. Most people say they iPad. <laughs> uh, yeah. The internet, the, app, the you know inspiration, what that's what inspires them. Well, one other question. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Where? Um, probably on a cruise with my mama. You know, <laughs> okay. On a cruise with my mama and my homeboys. Um, chilling, running, running a business, getting money and relaxing and just doing what God put me to do. Well, how do you plan to get back to your community once you're successful? Oh, you uh, you've reached all your goals. Um, first, I know I'm going to start up a youth organization for black males in the community because I was in one. 
you know, shout out to Mr. Robert Clark. He was one of the few people who gave back to the community. Um, take all my little brothers and all the little young kids with everybody when you ride past them, they look at them <laughs> and turn your head because their pants pulled down and whatnot. Look, don't do that to the jits. That, that, that's why they wild now because they feel like don't nobody care about them. Talk to them. I'm telling you because I come from one of them. You know what I'm saying? I am one of them. Talk to us. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody out there talking to us. You turn your bike on as a church and all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Toot that nose on up. Man, he would out saying throw that first stone. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But. That's only for God. Yeah, only for God to do. I don't care. Only God can do that. Now, we're going we gonna to get a more uh, interesting. This is, I think this is the best, best question of the whole interview. What's in your seat right like? Ooh, wee. That's a really tell me. That 103, that new Jesus. What? And of course. You uh, heard it, A Town. You heard your That new Jesus. A Town. <laughs> I gotta have Galactic, you know what I'm saying? Everything I gotta bump, like this new Tay Montana. Can I say can I say the name of the song? Yeah. Suck and fuck me. That shit goes so hard. <laughs> For real. That Tay Montana suck and fuck me. Uh GBT Thug Motivation, you know what I'm saying? And you know, uh that battle of death, slime time mixtape is getting ready to drop, but it's a song um 13 days on him, y'all head bumping. That shit going hard. So you know, between really Jesus, the home team, and man. The preacher of the ghetto, Bootsy. They keep my nigga locked up as all they want. I'm still bump them. Old boots and new boots, all that, cause keep it real, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, that's that good stuff. That good stuff. Well, uh, at this point in time, we would like to get everybody at home your name, your contact information, your email. How can they get at you when they see your video and they say, Why do you get that? So I can rock it. Tell everybody at home how to get it. Man, I'm out here in these streets, for real. Just, just, just <laughs> whatever. Like, I'm out here, like, for real. I ain't one of these people who you be like, well, where he at? Like, I'm out here. Like, I'm out here. So I'm, I'm on the north side. You know, I'm on the west. I'm here where I'm out here. I'm on 21st, McDuff, Mall Creek, Sutep. But now, nah, hit me up at I am Rodegar at Twitter. Please follow me. You know what I'm saying? I'll make sure I follow you back. Um, Rodegar Anglin at Facebook. Um, R3Anglin, gmail.com. I do DJ. Like I said, I do DJ Kush DJs at 904. You know what I'm saying? Please hit us up. We do all types of things. Your cousin Ray Ray just came home. Auntie May just got off dialysis. Um, Lucy May just got her good income tax check. We do it all. You know what I'm saying? Birthdays, bar mitzvahs, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Ramadan, all that. We DJ. You know what I'm saying? We got you. So make sure you hit us up. Um, like I said, I'm out here in these streets, man. For real, like, I'm out here. So. Thank you for joining us on True Fame TV. Thank you, you know, for come back and see us. When you get that new stuff, you come back and you make sure we get it, okay? Gotcha. Let's roll to a video. Go, a go shout it. Brought in all my money, I'm drunk in it be. I heard about little mama, yeah, they say she the she. I'm go shout it, go shout it. Go, go, a go shout it. Came with all my partner, they know we legit. Yeah. Look, baby, all in our face, I guess she know what it is. I'm gonna yeah. shout. Like a long fake show, girl. They get that.
Go, girl, go, girl. I get caught up with a Ronnie and Trent. You can have all the money, but no self-respect. Should have went off on the college girl and took her to net. The way you're dancing, you're the baby man. I know that you're next. She's a big, fine entertainer. Big, fine. Fine. I'm gonna make it rain while you slide from the top of the pole to the floor. Welcome back to Street Fame. I'm your host, Miss Atlanta, as you already know. We're back, and right now we have with us, we have the infamous nephew with us. Why don't you introduce yourself to everyone at home and tell them who you are and what it is that you do. What's happening, man? It's nephew. Plus, I was entertained, man. You know, I um, pretty much I'm a songwriter, rapper, you know, and I'm also acting. And this is a very good actor, by the way. So he's famous in the streets for a lot. Tell yeah. everybody how long you've been famous in the streets for you. Um, it actually started back, I mean, I've been doing it for a while, you know what I'm saying? I've been probably famous in the streets now, I say, for about five years. You know, I did a track with Lil Boots, it's called Hate Me. You know, I had been putting in a lot of work before that, but you know, um, when I did the track, it kind of, you know, people love Boots, and so just by him being on the song, he made people listen. And they heard me like, okay, you know what I'm saying? This is what do what he do, you know what I'm saying? So people kind of look me up after that. And, you know, I've been loved ever since. Shout out to Boots, Free Little Boots. That's what's up. So tell us, where is it? Or where are you originally from? Jacksonville, Florida, you know. Like a woman. Westside, you know, Raven Street. 32 <laughs> Raven Street, you know, that's one of my mixtape series I get to keep going, you know, because that's why I was raised there. <laughs> what inspired you to do what you do? Man, to tell you the truth, man, I just always loved music. I just always loved music. I used to feel like cats wrapping around the neighborhood when I was younger. You know, I just, just loved just being the presence of it and the circle just here. And, you know what I'm saying? People, how you play with words just always caught my ear. You know what I'm saying? So I started writing when I was about, about nine years old. You know what I'm saying? And my little homeboy, Jeff, Jeffrey Scott, he gave me my motivation because he was the first person to tell me I could actually rap. I was actually tight. So, you know, I used to take everything to him. I ain't want nobody else to hear it because he already told me I was tight. So everything I write, I go to him and be like, yeah, bro. And, you know what I'm saying? I just kept going. So, you know, as I started, you know, now I'm here. Okay, so um, you did get famous in the streets. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to do that? Do you have a role model? Who would that be? Yeah. I already kind of know what the answer is, but I don't know who. Really, my role model is Mall Boss. You know what I'm saying? Real, real. Mall just Boss just, forever. Just, just his character, the way he handles business. You know what I'm saying? The way he, he, his compassion, his, his, his caring. You know what I'm saying? He's a caring person. He, you know, he was unselfish. You know, and uh, he really taught me a lot about how to be a boss, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm gonna have to say that's my role model. You know, Mall Boss. So, as far as your career and how it's going and what you really see yourself, where do you see yourself five years from now? In the midst of making history, you know, it should take time. I know to make history. I know it ain't gonna, it probably ain't gonna happen that fast. You know, making history is a big thing, but I'm gonna be in the midst of it. You know, I see myself doing a lot more acting. I see myself, you know what I'm saying, being a major, major artist in the music industry. You know what I'm saying, probably writing for a few other people. Business, you know, from being a family man, you know what I'm saying? I got four kids, four, three, and one on the way, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, basically building a, a legacy, you know what I'm saying? Or continuing the legacy, because it's already yeah. there, but, you know, continuing the legacy, making it just to make it history. So, when you get to that five year stretch and you've reached all your goals and you've completed everything you feel like you needed to be completed, to be completed how do you plan on giving back to your community or to any community? Well, actually, 
the, the best way I think to give back is is actually to create create avenues for people to like circulate income. That's the best way you can give back. A lot of people think you know they just gonna get money and then just actually give money back. Like that's not gonna work because like if you just give somebody something, they don't have to actually work for that. Then you know you kind of. Disabled, you know, yeah, you know you're handicapped. Yeah, so my mom used I to think, say that don't handicap people <clears throat> by doing too much for them. Yeah, with 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 the job thing going the way it is right now, it's so hard to get jobs, man. The economy's so fucked up, man. I feel like if I was to get a hold to a nice bit of money and I could create avenues for people to make money, like more jobs for people, or like a guaranteed paycheck, you know, ain't nothing like security. I feel like that's how I'm gonna give back. You know what I'm saying? By like putting money into things that other people can do. Well, that's very inspiring, inspirational words. Um, but we're gonna get down to the best question of the day, my favorite question of the day. What's in your CD player? We need to go into your house or your car right now. What's in the CD player? Now, what you listen to, what you got here, not your favorite. What's in the CD player? <laughs> Right now, as we speak, I wrote up here listening to my shit actually sticks and stuff. My little nigga Yike just came on, and I want to put him up on my new shit, you know what I'm saying? Welcome on 1200 Yike. Um, I play a lot of Mob Boss, I play a lot of Frankie Lenny, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of little Boosie, you know what I'm saying? I'm an old school nigga. Well, not old, I'm not old, but I like older music because it actually has a meaning, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to some of this new shit. So, you know, I got Ghetto Boys in there, you know what I'm saying? I got some, you know, of course I got Tupac in there. I got some old 50 Cent. I got some, even some old Ja Rule, you know what I'm saying? What? Um, just any shit from back in the day that mean anything. A lot of UGK Pimp C was my favorite mm -hmm. artist, you know what I'm saying? A lot of Soldier Slim, you know, a lot of just shit that eight ball MJG meaningful music. Like shit that you can listen to and it actually wow. says something to you. Yeah, it actually wow. says something to you instead of just all, I don't know, I ain't even gonna get into that, but. <laughs> I got a lot of old shit, man. Shout out to Frank Lenny, though. That nigga, he, he coming on the scene, and that nigga music really remind me a lot of the old music. You know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga actually got something to say, so y'all check Frank Lenny out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us here today at Street Fang. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like you to give a contact email to anybody that want any booking. When y'all see this video, top cat, 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 the top 10 countdown, you're going to know. He's hot. He's very, very famous in the street. I support him because I love his music. He's, he's good. He's bad. So tell him how to get at you if they want to book you. Um, if you want to book me, you can go to, I got an email, the real nephew at gmail.com. Contact my manager, Frank Coleon. Frank Coleon at gmail.com. Shout out to Frank. You can contact Frank. His phone number is 404 784 5065. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what it is. Trying to do a verse, want to feature, or uh, book me, you know, call Frank, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you just want to show support, let me know you're fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? Just hit me up on the Gmail or something. I got Twitter at The Real Nephew, Facebook at The Real Nephew, like, you know what I'm saying? Just Google The Real Nephew, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look up a new video, it's called I Ain't, you know what I'm saying? Search Nephew I Ain't, YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee you're going to like it. So, you know, that's what it is. Thanks for coming out. And you when your new shit come out, yeah. you gotta make sure you come through and see us again yeah. so you. we can rock it again. I got you. Thank no you for uh, coming through. Oh, yeah. Let's roll to a video.
blow the blow. Black 40 on my hip, so much is like I grow the mold. Yep. I'm eating steaks at a table full of crab cakes. Two dollars on a half ounce, I'm getting half baked. Quick bucks, like I'm included in a drag race. Motor rigged up, cause I refuse to come in last place. Yep. Before the day is done, I'm guaranteed to make a flip. Chain by the ton, them no way enough to sink a ship. I showed my bitch two money bags and told her take a pick. Made her quit a job and promised her that I'ma make a rich. Smell money when I come around. I ain't Gucci, but the trap made a hundred thousand. Yep. In the hood, smoking purple, watching money pile. And I ain't Jeezy, but I'm weekly dropping numbers down. Yep. Every time you see me, it's a gun around. I ain't Gucci, but he tried me, I'ma gun him down. Look, street nigga, I done got it in a couple towns. And I ain't flies, but got goons and they love to the clown. I'm touching white girls daily like I'm Eminem. Chopper clips long enough to make it. Gym. Want a bigger safe, all you niggas want is bigger rims They draw attention so I never did get into them Hope price lower cause I cut it but it's still a swim Remember days when I would hustle just to get a trim Pair of J's hit the club and pay to get my niggas in Now my paper sitting higher than my ceiling do Could have been retired all the money that a nigga blew I tried to get a job, they called me for an interview Told me what they paid and I looked at his ass like nigga who? You can keep that for yourself, I'm on the bigger things Even as a jit, that petty shit, I wouldn't entertain Bought 20 jugglers with a dream to get a brick of cane Got it from the muscle years later and I'm still the same You can smell money when I come around I ain't Gucci but the trap made a hundred thousand yep. In the hood, smoking purple, watching money pile And I ain't Jeezy but I'm weak to dropping numbers down yep.